Somebody else's turn. <laughs> Take it away. Okay. So, can you hear us this time? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yes, I hear, I see thumbs up. Okay, good. Okay, so, as you can tell, we are going to um, do a tribute to Jerry Garcia and the Grateful Dead tonight. Um, we picked a couple of our favorite songs to do. Um, we're going to start with Ripple. Um, I just love this song. It's um, very sweet the way they do it, and um, they kind of give the sense that even if things aren't going your way or, or you have to go something alone, that you always have song and your, your voice and your song to keep you company. Um, so that's kind of how I, the takeaway I got from that song. So um, I sent you the um, introductory tabs to do with that if you want to try playing the melody. If you don't want to play the melody, just play the chords to the first verse and that's um, the same thing as, as playing the, the melody, just do the, do the chords. And the only other note I think on that one is that we're going to end on the last G with one strum, and that's it. Um, the la di da's at the end, sing those to any verse, we're going to sing it to the first verse. Um, anything else? Okay, let's see how we do here.
Yay! Thank you. Yay! Bird like that special thing you got there. Yeah, well, we'll talk about the special thing at the end. We'll, we'll figure that out together. Okay, so, friend of the devil, contrast, right, to, to Ripple. Um, I did look up a little bit of history on this one. Um, not a lot of background, but the most curious thing that I found about it was that um, the title not line was not part of the original lyrics at all. Um, the original chorus went, I set out running, but I take my time. It looks like water, but it tastes like wine. And that apparently was written by Robert Hunter, and he wasn't too thrilled with that anyway. So John Dawson suggested a friend of the devil is a friend of mine, which fits more of the outlawish um, rest of the, of the song. Um, so that was the only trivia I really found on it. Uh, I also sent the tabs on this one. This one's fun. It moves along, and we're not going to do it quite as fast as the dead did it, um, but we're going to we're going to step it up. And the tab is the introduction, and you can play that tab on any verse of of the song. Verse, any verse you want, any other verse, whatever, just the verse. And um, and we're going to do it twice through for the introduction. We're going to play it solo. The run is going to go twice solo. And then we're going to, we're going to start our chords. But you can just play those chords, the chords of the first verse, as the introduction. Um, I don't think there's any other notes on that one. Um, and we're going to end this song on one beat as well, on that D at the end. There's an instrumental and a chorus, a uh, verse and a chorus, instrumental on, on that too, so just play a verse and a chorus uh, for the instrumental. And I think that's it, right? I need one more sip. Do you have the guitar? Mm. Mm hmm I have the long ukulele. I remember. <laughs> you remember to remind me. Thank you. Yeah, it wouldn't work with the other one as well.
extra band that was in the room. And so I talked to Bert a little bit, and, and you can thank him for this if it, if it sounded good. <laughs> um, so, so I really wanted, in Ripple, I really wanted that mandolin sound, because I think that's pretty iconic to the song. And so I actually, I was going to call Bert and ask him if he could record a mandolin, blah, blah, blah. He says, just do it on your uke. I said, oh, okay. So I called my neighbor, because I knew he had a mandolin. So he recorded himself playing the mandolin. Then he gave me that recording, and I added a maraca and a background uke to it so that we could keep our timing on it all. And we played that behind us as we played live the rest of the song and sang for you tonight. And I liked it so much on Ripple that I just put a background maraca and a light um, um, uke on the back of that one too so that we could keep in time. It just gives it some of this, this depth, I think, of like that. I hope it came through well on, you know, Zoom, which God knows how that came through, but I'm getting thumbs. Um, but it was fun to do. It was, it was, you know, going a little bit beyond the call of duty, but it was fun and I got hooked. And thanks, Bert, for um, suggesting that. So uh, we had fun with it and it, it really helped keep us in time, I think, too. <laughs> He's holding up a Grateful Dead sign. <laughs> Where? Uh, <laughs> Jay. <laughs> Jay, you're too much. Okay, so I guess we're done. Yeah, th those, those are both great. Great arrangements. Well. And we played them well and sang them well. Good harmonies. Thank you. Okay. Let me get back on you here. Okay, I don't have any backup behind me, so, <laughs> so I'll do, do my best. It's tough to follow, that's right. You think you've got your troubles. <laughs> okay.